Now this example <clears throat> that I'm about to do in Minitab is very similar to the first couple of problems you have on the uh, week four lab assignment. It's uh, real easy to do if you just follow along with the steps. But please understand the problem that I'm going to show you is not the same problem that's in the lab. What we're doing is we're interested in a binomial experiment with 10 trials. And the first thing we're going to do is understand that I'm going to have three probabilities of success. I'm going to use one-fifth. Then I'm going to use uh, uh, two-fifths. And then I'm going to use four-fifths. I'm going to need to set up some columns here for my calculations. First of all, I'm going to type in success here, the word success, there in the title. Then I'm going to input 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Now, the re oh, I put in 70 down there. I better fix that. I have a 10. Now, some folks forget to put in that zero, but remember, if you have 10 trials, you can have anywhere from zero to 10 successes. Now I'm going to set up my columns for my calculations. Remember, instead of one-fourth, one-half, and three-fourths, in my example, I'm going to show you one-fifth. Then I'm going to go over and do two-fifths. And this is just a label. Then I'm finally going to do four-fifths. Now, now I'm ready to go up and I'm going to um, go to Calc, Probability Distributions, and I'm going to choose Binomial. Now, when I do that, another little uh, menu opens up, and I'm going to first make sure that I click the Probability button. Then my number of trials is, of course, 10. My first probability I'm going to be working with is 1 fifth. Of course, the decimal form of 1 fifth is 0 0.20. Input column, when I click there, it's going to allow me to double click on success. It shows up there. Optional storage, I want to store that in the one fifth column. So I'm going to do that. Double click and say OK. And bazinga, it shows up right there. Now let's do the same thing. Let's go to Calc. Probability Distributions, Binomial. We're going to be doing it for two-fifths this time. Now, of course, two-fifths. This is a nice thing about Minitab. Everything stays the same, so I'm just going to have to change a couple of things. I'm going to change the event probability to point, uh, 0 0.40 because 2 divided by 5 is 0.4. Then I've got to change my optional storage because on this one I want to store it in two fifths. Then I click OK. I'm good there. Now finally I'm going to do four fifths. So I go to Calc, Probability Distributions, Binomial. Pull this over here. My event probability will now be. Uh, four-fifths is 0 0.80. I'm going to cover up the optional storage and choose four-fifths. Say OK. Now, I have all of this that I can now graph. Let's look at how to graph it. Now, it's important to uh, understand that we generated these three columns, these three binom binomial distribution columns so that we can just graph this. It's real easy to do. We're now going to go to Graph, Scatter Plot. We're going to choose Simple, say OK. We're going to graph all three of these at the same time. 
my y variable, I'm going to say one-fifth. Uh, my x variable will be success. My next y variable, two-fifths. And then x variable, success. Finally, four-fifths and success again. And I don't have to do anything else. I click OK, and boom, it gives me all three graphs. Now, you just want to make sure that you get them in the right order. And remember, this is not your actual lab. I made this example up. Yours is for, uh, I think, one-fourth, one-half, and three-fourths. But say you wanted to copy this one for one-fifth. You just pick a place here, right-click, say Copy Graph. After you copy it, you can paste it into your lab. Go to the next one, right-click. Copy graph, paste it in, go to your final one. Copy graph. Notice, let's look at these. This first one is right skewed because it's got a tail on the right. This, my two-fifths, is a little right skewed. I'm willing to bet your one-half is symmetrical, not skewed in either direction. My four-fifths is skewed to the left. See the tail on the left? Anyway, that's how easy it is to do that first problem in the lab. You do not use your data uh, that uh, we used in uh, week two until the second problem. My next recording will be on number two.